Welcome to BC 1988 National Championship 30th year reunion. I'm Kenny Calvin, host of the Renegade Report, and I'm joined with my first collegiate coach, Carl Bowser. How you doing, coach? Doing great, Kenny. Really, really fun to be here today. Well, a lot of fun. Be beautiful sea of red. You know, it's always a beautiful experience to come up here on the hill. I rarely get to do parking lot interviews, but you're one of the people that made this place special for me, and I said I had to go down once I heard Coach was in the building. <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming up, that's for sure. <laughs> well, well, Coach, one of the most beautiful things about this experience, I had a chance to interview Stan Green, Lindsey Collins, Johnny Rose this Thursday on the Renegade Report, and all they could do was talk about how great it felt to be reunited after 30 years. You know, I talk about our, our potato bowl, back-to-back -back potato bowl championships and having the honor to to lift you up and carry you off the field <laughs> for your last championship win as a coach. How does it feel to be back in this realm with all the guys that you helped make great? Uh, you know, I can't say words that uh, explain it. Uh, you get around them, they're, these guys were not just really good football players. They were really good guys. Definitely. I mean, I, I judge people. That's my job. <laughs> and and the, this group of guys, you know, 80 guys, uh, no doubt, probably the best group of young men that we've ever put together at Bakersfield College. It was a, a tremendous season, uh, hard workers. I mean, we, we were playing on a practice field like we were in a game wow. all the time. They I really know, competed. Coach. I definitely know. Well, I mean, being one of your guys, you had the faith in me to make me a starter as a freshman. You know, I was about 150 pounds soaking wet. You told you told Coach Judy, get that guy in there. I like his heart. <laughs> your, your confidence in me helped me become great at an early age. And just talking to these guys about the magnitude that your presence has had on them as men was such such an honor and experience, Coach. Well, I, I took a real interest in knowing my players, being involved with them off the field. Uh, my coaches, when I played, did that to me at Bakersfield College. I was a young little old guy running kind of crazy in Bakersfield. <laughs> and my coach, Coach Beatty and Coach Collis, really stepped in and uh, gave me direction. And I've tried to do that with uh, players that I've coached. I, I, definitely, I definitely can identify with that. And being that we don't get to spend much time together, I got to tell you my favorite memory of you from college. We were tied 10-10 versus Glendale at Glendale College. You came in and gave the halftime speech of all halftime speeches. And needless to say, I won't go into detail, but we ended up winning that game 50 to 10. We, get, we, we scored 40 unanswered points yeah. after you came in there and made sure that we knew why we jumped on the bus in the first place yeah. to go down to, to, to beat Glendale and, and extend our, our game winning streak to be able to go and, and end up as a 10 and one team. Yeah, so. I was going to, I was going to take your guys baloney sandwiches away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you threatened to do a little more to take our sandwiches that day. I'll just say that. But, but coach, more than anything, the opportunity to have this generational impact, you know, is unmatched. I've had the opportunity to travel the world through athletics after you were my coach. And just the things that you taught us, it resonated for it for years. And now we're transitioning that to our kids. My son just left to the Army this week. You know, and I talked about the things that you instilled in us as players to help us become successful. So, you know, before we get out of here, Coach, I want to go ahead and, and, and tell you how, how valuable you were to my success. You know, I'm a father, I'm married, you know, and I definitely wouldn't be the guy that I am if you didn't have the confidence to put me on the field in that number 23 jersey 24 wow. years ago. That makes my coaching worth it right there. Absolutely, Coach. Absolutely, Coach. Well, hey, we know you've been busy tonight. We want to give you a chance to get some rest. We're going to have you out for the uh, coin toss and also halftime. But anything else you want to tell the world before we get out of here? No, nah, just don't tell the referees I got a two-headed coy so the ref so <laughs> will win the flip. All right. <laughs> Coach Bowser, still up to those tricks. This is Kitty Calvin of the Renegade Report pregame show for the National Championship 1988 BC Renegade football team. Love you, Coach. Hey, love you, man, and thank you. I appreciate it, appreciate it. All right, take care, Coach. You enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the guys. I'll see you later.